Oh, my goodness. I'm so pleased to be back for another season. We didn't think this was going to happen, to be honest. Like, we thought community TV was going to be done and we weren't going to get back. But I'm so pleased to be back, especially with uh, this cast and crew. Can you give them a round of applause, please? We're back. So much hard work. So much hard work goes into this. Seriously, this is the future of TV right here. Literally, this many people are going to be watching TV. That's it. 50 people, that's it. Well, let's talk about drunk people. Uh, there's... <laughs> It's true, there's been a lot of talk about Australia's drinking culture, or as experts call it, Australia's drinking problem. Because no one, no one leaves the casino or anything saying, yeah, I think I've got a gambling culture. Like, <laughs> it is a problem, right? Because a new survey claims that one third of all Australians say they drink to get drunk. Can you believe that? Well, the other two thirds say they drink to stay drunk. So I think <laughs> it's not as bad as you reckon. Yeah, why not? Why not? And according to a UK journal, the most harmful substance in society is alcohol. It's not entirely true in Australia. In Australia, it goes cigarettes, illicit drugs, alcohol, Adelaide tap water. That is the <laughs> scale. And so people at the back really hate Adelaide. Good on you, Clappy. <laughs> Now, alcohol culture seems to be everywhere in Australia. I think this is true, right? I went to the pharmacy recently to get a bottle of cough medicine. Even that comes with the free shot glass. That's how bad it is, right? <laughs> Australian drinking culture is so bad, apparently a booze bus the other day collected a urine sample with an olive in it. That's how <laughs> bad it is. Even when supporting our military, actually, uh, like, alcohol is involved in some way. I'm not sure if you know this, uh, during the Anzac celebration, there was a thing called Raise a Glass Campaign. Do you know about that? Yeah, so basically a beer company, I'm not going to say who they are, uh, gave some of the profits uh, from their beer to people who went to war to fight, so that we could stay here in our pubs to fight. That's why <laughs> they did it, right? And Australian uh, drunken violence is actually getting really bad. I saw two Australians fighting in the, the middle of the suburbs the other day. All right, I think we have a, some footage of this. It's terrible. Oh, what? <laughs> Jägermeister is a drug. It's a sick drug. <laughs> now, uh, according to uh, The Age, uh, Australia is actually known all around the world for its binge drinking culture, right? And uh, some people say that's a bad thing. I don't, actually. I think that's good. It distracts them from our racism. That's a good thing. <laughs> fine. Beer's fine. I don't mind. And another survey by the Foundation for Alcohol Research and Education says that 75% of young people say they have a drinking problem, while the other 25% say, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> you are. You drink a drinking problem. You to drink a you to drink a problem. You what are you writing? What are you writing down? You want my number? Am I gonna give me a number? Am I pretty? <laughs> Kiss me. And look, all these stats and figures and reports about Australia being alcoholic and binge drinking, it does sound pretty bad, but you need to know there is a silver lining. It's called a goon bag. It's awesome, <laughs> it's really very Australian.